an affliction. Hello. It's time to wet a line. It's fishing affliction time. For those who got it bad. Well, Mom and Dad's grab the kids, it's time for the fishing show. Me and the big dog's gonna go catch them down at the fishing hole. Well, you better stick around, cause you don't know what you're missing. Yeah, me and the big dog's got that fishing affliction. Grab your hats, grab your baits, don't forget your poles. We're gonna fire up that old ranger boat and head to the fishing hole. We're gonna try to catch a biggin. Yeah, that's what we're wishing. Cause me and the big dog's got that fishing affliction. Yeah, me and the big dog's got that fishing affliction. <laughs> Yeah, and we've got it bad. I've got that fish in affliction. Hey, I'm Aunt Nepo, and I've got that fish in affliction. Hi, I'm Denny Brower, and I've got that fish in affliction. Hey, I'm Mark Menendez, and I've got that fishing affliction. I'm Bobby Lane, and I got that fishing affliction. Hi, I'm Chris Lane, and I got that fishing affliction. I'm Shaw Grigsby, and I got that fish in affliction. Just like me. Here, fishy, fishy, here, fishy, fishy, here, fishy, fishy. I told you they're here. I think there's quite a few. Oh, we got off! Well, folks, it's time to wet a line because it's fish and affliction time. And welcome into today's episode as we continue with part two of the certified fan favorite, the A team throwing the A rig as Team Fish and Affliction is throwing that Alabama rig down there on legendary Lake Gunnersville. Today's Fish and Affliction product spotlight features the great fluorocarbons made by Seaguar. And be sure to head on over to our online store to see all that great Fish and Affliction gear that's there. And if you can't get enough Fish and Affliction TV, then be sure to subscribe to us there at our YouTube channels. And at the end of the show, you'll meet the Fish and Affliction Facebook Friend of the Week. So sit back and enjoy the certified fan favorite, part two of the A-Team throwing the A-Rig as Team Fish and Affliction throws that Alabama rig down on legendary Lake Gunnersville, chasing those big old largemouths right here on Fish and Affliction TV. That's a good fish. What, oh, what do you got, I'm Pat? fucking over five. Good fish. Well, folks, when we last left the action down there in Gunnersville, Affliction Pro staffer Pat Anderson had just hooked up with a giant largemouth throwing that A-rig. And the fun was just beginning. Oh, Ooh, that's Ooh, that's Pat. That's a big fish. Oh, come here, baby. Come here, come here. Come here, come here. Oh! <laughs> Get your dry spelling over. Ah, Pat, look at the belly. Look at that. That's over five. That's way over five. Oh, that's got to be near six and six plus? Six, maybe seven. Look at the gut. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh, Pat. Hold it again sideways. <laughs> man. I told you. You did, man. Shadowlicious. Swim baits. I was just holding out. <laughs> My gosh, look at that. Now. Put him in the box. As long as you're holding out. Awesome, brother. Awesome, <gasps> man. That is awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Woo! And what happened is he missed it. Or he something. Two or three times. Yeah. Boom, boom. And then bam and, and then on. And that was the importance you talked about keeping the bait keep it in going, motion, keep but it nice going. and easy, no jerking and stuff. Just keep it, be patient with it. Yep, that's keep it. it in the strike zone. Awesome, man. Woo, woo. Big dog. That one looked like it ate your fish. <laughs> I'm telling you what, that was a good fish. Ain't no doubt about that. Woo! <laughs> my buddy, he can catch him. Oh, wait a second. No, my buddy. That's my buddy. That's my he buddy. That's my buddy. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm shaking now. That is awesome, man. I'm cool. Now. That's about a seven pounder. Yeah, that's huge. That's a big fish. That's got to be one of the biggest bellies I think I've seen. When that fish all the big fish I've been catching have been just gorged. Big fat. Fish? Oh, I thought you had a fish. I thought it said fish. I said the word fish. 
Well, folks, as you can see, Pat Anderson is fired up, and no wonder. This fish was well over seven pounds. And let's catch up with Pat for just a few minutes as he shares a couple more tips about throwing that A-rig. You finding that these Shadowlicious baits are holding up through a day of fishing this? I've got a set of Shadowlicious baits that I have remelted with a lighter that I've caught probably 50 or 60 fish on. Because they were so hard to get for a while there, they were being sold out. So I wasn't throwing them away. I was taking the lighter, remelting the plastic together and reusing them probably about a dozen trips with the same five baits. Awesome. Strike King sure makes them. Tough oh, plastic, huh? They do, they do. They've been holding up really well. And I like the, the action on them is awesome. They've got really, really good action. We have someone to congratulate. Yeah, yeah, I just, I mean, while we're, while we're out here and on camera, I'd just like to say congratulations again to my, my daughter and her husband. We had uh, their wedding right before New Year's Day, and uh, it, was, it was great. And it their names? Uh, Vanessa and Alum. That's great. Well, Vanessa and Alum Starling now, no more Anderson. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll be praying for them. God's blessings on them for sure with their marriage. That's awesome, man. I appreciate it. I'd also like to say hi to all my uh, fellow service members out there in Iraq and Afghanistan and Kuwait and wherever else they're at overseas right now and in harm's way taking care of uh, taking care of business so we can be out here doing what we're doing. And that, yes, they, they are the ones that, that are doing exactly that, aren't they? Yes, they are on a daily basis. And they're not, that is something that uh, we recognize quite a bit. So, but, and again, thank you for your service of what you have and continue to do. I appreciate it. Are you continuing to put your Shadowlicious on your... I am rigged up. Are you ready? I'm going to take a couple go? sandwich bites and uh, I think I'm ready to go. All right, buddy. Super. Hey, Rusty, I'm going to pierce my ear on that one. Well, folks, what a great opportunity it is to sit down with the Patriot, Mr. Pat Anderson, as we're throwing that A-Rig down there in the wilds of Gunnersville. And in a moment, we'll be right back with some more fish in action. But speaking of in the wilds, let's go see something a little extra special in this week's In the Wild. Well, folks, this is the reason why that you go down to Gunnersville, you throw the Alabama rig, and you fish with Affliction Pro staffer Pat Anderson. And look what he caught while he was fishing with his sister on a recent trip. <laughs> Look at the size of that thing. That's easily over 10. That's some good video. Look at that. That's crazy. Not just crazy, folks. 11 pounds, 14 ounces. Folks, you can send your pictures to pics at fishandaffliction.com and be sure to visit the picture galleries there at fishandaffliction.com and maybe you'll see your pictures right here on the big screen. In the wild. Your pictures in the wild. At Strike King, it starts with the concept. Next, it's all about perfecting the prototype. Finally, it's about catching yeah. the dream. This is a new prototype crankbait we're working on. Strike King, it's called a 10XD. Strike King 10XD. Wow, a five pass limit. Perfection to 25 feet and beyond. Catch your dream. Smyrna Ready Mix is an established company that handles business daily with integrity and professionalism. Whether you're a general contractor, professional builder, or a do-it-yourself homeowner, SRM has your concrete solutions. With several convenient locations in the Middle Tennessee area to serve you, the only call you need to make is to SRM, ready to serve you with integrity and professionalism. Imagine you are thrown overboard and your vacant boat is speeding towards you with nothing to stop it. Now imagine that you're wearing your engine kill switch. The engine would shut off as soon as you were thrown overboard as the kill switch lanyard is pulled away from the dash. Your boat is floating several yards away from you. This situation is not something that you can predict, but it is something you can prepare for. Wear your engine kill switch and kill the engine before it can kill you. Fishing Affliction's Facebook Trail for those who've got it bad. Brought to you by 
Smyrna Remix. Well, folks, Facebook, most everybody's on it and everybody's heard of it. And if you haven't liked Fish and Affliction's Facebook page, then we urge you to do so so you can be a part of the ever-growing community of Fish and Affliction fans and participate in our weekly contest, upload your pictures, and even post your tournament trail results there at our Facebook page. Designed to keep you interactive and informed, it's the perfect way to communicate daily for those who've got it bad. Our thanks to Smyrna Ready Mix for sponsoring this segment of the show and now back to Fishing Affliction TV. Okay, don't worry about it. I don't think you need to change coach. Comes out easy. Uh, probably not a keeper, but a good solid large mouth for early in the day on this middle of winter day. Pat was saying that the bite that he's experienced uh, here in the last the last time he went out was was a better bite in the afternoon, Pat? Yeah, the later it gets in the day, it's, it's getting a lot better. The fish have been starting out pretty sluggish in the mornings. I tell you, that's the difference in the fishing shallow and fishing deep. Seems like if they're on, on the deep bite, they just stay, they, you know, they, you have peak times, they come and go. But on the shallow bite, that water temperature's got to come up a little bit and they move up with it. And back to throwing the whole school of minnows. I guess I can uh, take a break from my sandwich to get this fish in for you. You felt like a better fish right here. Uh, he looks like he might be a better fish. He's walking around a bit. I don't know if it's a bass or not the way he's fighting. Oh, oh yeah, that's a bass. That's a bass. Hung in the sides, what it is. Well, he rolled into the bait. We got him in the mouth. You got him in the mouth. Come here, baby. Open up. There we go. You're getting a little bigger. Oh, yeah, it came out of his mouth and caught him in the back. I told you, he just, he was fighting almost like a drum would feel or whatever. He might have, what happened was, he went to get one of the other shad, and I hung him with that, with one of the other baits, probably. Look at him slip, too, big dog. Yeah, he's been caught before. Yep, been caught before. Another Gunnersville keeper. I think you should change colors, Rusty. I think I should throw back out there while you're eating. <laughs> oh, Rusty, That's good. Good. Oh, oh man. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Another big fish. You're going to get out of the motor, big dog. Oh, wow. <laughs> Come in the boat with your daddy. Oh, oh dog. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's been eating where Pat's fish was eating. Look at the belly on that thing. Look, he ate two of them. <laughs> he ate two of them. Oh my gosh. He ate two of them. You piglet. There's another, uh, what, maybe four pounds, three and a half, four pounds? That's a good solid tournament fish right there. Oh yeah. Man. Four well. Fish come in the same spot. Left three fish. I'm gonna tell you. I don't have but one hook right here. One hook right here. That's a mouthful of shadowlicious right there. He didn't eat one, he ate every one. That fish tried to eat every bait in the school. Three hooks in him. <laughs> Let me see him, big dog. Man, that's a good, dandy. Good, solid, large mouth right that there. That is a dandy. Good, solid, large mouth. Keep her fish, keep her fish. All right. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it, don't you, buddy? Yeah. I hate it. All right, let me get all my baits back straight because uh, they're daggum sure not straight right now. Man, they're so exciting, man. That is so exciting right there. Those big ones? Oh. That makes it worth the trip even in the rain. Woo! Big dog, you are head to toe in Onyx gear today. Tell me what you're what you're wearing. Onyx rainwear. And it is very comfortable. And an Onyx. And I am jacket. very dry, which is very good in January. <laughs> 
just incredible quality gear that they offer, don't they? Yeah, and I've, I keep my inflatable uh, vest on a lot during the winter because hypothermia is not something that you can take lightly. It's when you got this much gear on and you go in the water, it's hard to get back in the boat in a timely manner. Although I might learn to fly if I went in today. I think we're at 49 degree surface temp. So, but uh, it's real comfortable to wear, keep on in the winter. And, uh, or in the summer, it's a lot cooler on you. Now but, this, uh, this next comment will not make TV, but it could be funny. It looks like your inflatable already went off underneath your jacket. <laughs> well, thank you, Dan. When you have pictorials like I do, when you have pictorials like I do, that's kind of how it looks. If you keep working out, though, I'm sure. You'll looks be like it's deployed. Be too. I'm sure that in the next four or five years, if you work out every day, you may be able to have you a Mr. Mr. Red Starter Kid, too. <laughs> Tired of having sand kicked in your face. <laughs> it's deployed. Watch out, bad. <laughs> it's deployed. <laughs> Well, folks, you know I just can't help to have a little extra fun on the big dog's expense. But I tell you what, he is flat catching those fish on the A-Rig, and the A-Team is having a ball down there in Gunnersville, Alabama. And in a few moments, we'll be right back with some more fish in action. And when we return, you're going to see the very first largemouth that I ever caught on a triple rig here in Tennessee as Dan versus Fish. All that when we get back to some more Fish and Affliction TV. But right now, it's time to head upstairs to the kitchen to see what Miss Vicki Porter's got cooking this week. In the Skillet with Chef Vicki Porter is brought to you by Kleepy.com, turning your precious memories into video treasures. Welcome to In the Skillet, I'm Vicki Porter, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make twice baked potatoes. These potatoes look really fancy, but they're actually really simple. And now for the ingredients. You will need baking potatoes, butter, milk, salt, cream cheese, sour cream, paprika, and cheddar cheese. After baking your potatoes for the first time in the oven for about an hour, let them cool and then slice off a thin layer off the top of the potatoes and scoop out the insides into a mixing bowl. Now in your mixing bowl, add your butter, a little bit of milk, add some salt, and now let's get this all mixed together. Next, add your cream cheese and your sour cream, and now get this all mixed together. Now spoon this potato mixture back into your shells. After placing your stuffed potatoes in a greased baking dish, sprinkle each one with paprika and top them with cheddar cheese. Then we're gonna put these back in the oven at 350 for 20 to 25 more minutes. After baking these potatoes for the second time, you are ready to sit down and enjoy these twice baked potatoes. You can find this recipe at intheskillet.com and be sure and click on the YouTube icon to see this recipe as well as all of my other In The Skillets. I'm Vicki Porter. Tune in next week to see what's cooking in the skillet. As fishermen, we're predators. And fish are the prey. In nature, the best fishermen have one thing in common, their eyes. How do you turn your eyes into the eye of a predator? It takes 11 layers of lens technology and a new lens color to make the human eye emulate the eye of a predator. Stop buying glasses for the classes. Make yourself an alpha predator. Hey, I know I'm always throwing a lot of information your way, and if you want to check up with us going on, because it may be hard to remember here sometimes, go to one of two Facebooks, either my Facebook, which is Doug Markham Outdoors, that's M-A-R-K-H-A-M, Doug Markham Outdoors. You can go on there, and I talk a whole lot, get a lot of interaction from folks that come in there, talk about hunting and fishing, or you can go to Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency Region 2, Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency Region 2, and uh, you can talk on that Facebook. I do both of them. I do my personal, and then I do the one for TWA in Region 2, and 
and we always are telling you information about the season, season dates, bag limits, things that are going on. But Facebook is a great way for you to communicate. And if you haven't done it yet, if you're afraid of it, get unafraid. It's very easy to do. If you can turn on a computer, you can go do Facebook. It takes you about a minute to get signed up, registered, and ready to go on everybody's sites. So they're a great way to share information. And I'm on those Facebook pages all the time. So we'll see you there, and we'll see you back here next week on Fish and Affliction. On today's Fish and Affliction product spotlight, I want to talk to you about the incredible fluorocarbon line selection that you have from Seaguar. From their red label to their abrasic to their tatsu, you can't go wrong with any fluorocarbons made by Seaguar. Incredibly strong, but extremely castable. Whenever you're using a fluorocarbon made by Seaguar, you're using it from the inventors of fluorocarbon. Check out their website, Seaguar.com, and you'll see why that Seaguar is always the best. And now back to Fish and Affliction. Welcome back to Fish and Affliction TV, and this segment of the show is brought to you by Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. Mercury Outboards, number one on the water. Akuma, high performance fishing gear. The ever powerful and long lasting deck of batteries. Seaguar, always the best. Mustad Hooks, stay sharper longer. Onyx Life Jackets and Rain Gear, keeping you there. Freyville, trusted gear since 1938. Real Magic, the name says it all. Rugged electronic mounts provided by Ram Mounts. Wigwam Socks, the performance sock company. BBGMarine.com and Tournament Wear. Look great, feel great, do great. And now another exciting episode of Dan vs. Fish on Fish and Affliction TV. Well, folks, on this featurette of Dan vs. Fish, we're going to be doing some vertical jigging for some crappie, but we're also going to be doing something that I'm excited to do, and that's to throw that Tennessee rig or the triple rig, and here it is. You know, when we go to Gunnersville, we throw what is called the Alabama rig, and that's a five-bait version of this bait right here. But in the state of Tennessee, that bait is illegal. So this is what you can throw. This is a triple rig or a Tennessee rig. And you can see that I've tricked it out here with some Strike King 3X grubs. I've got some Mustad jig heads. And I'm spooled up with Senshi monofilament made by Seaguar. And as you can see, that my triple rig right here, which I bought at Poindexter's in Gallatin, Tennessee, but you can get them at Flippers and, let's see, Bass Pro Shop, Academy, and of course all those great places over there in the Percy Priest area. But the one there that I got at Poindexter's, well, this has a chatterbait head. Now, I haven't caught a bunch of fish on the Alabama rig, and I've not caught any fish on the triple rig, folks. So I don't know if that makes a big difference, but I tell you what it does do. It gives me that sensation of the vibration, which helps me to think that that bait is uh, working the way that I would like it. I'm used to throwing a chatter bait. I like that feel. I'm not so sure that it makes a big deal of catching anything as far as the bass are concerned. Uh, if it'll catch more fish or not, I don't know. So after doing a little crappie fishing, I'm gonna pick up the triple rig, the Tennessee rig, and see what we can catch. I'm excited. All right, is the triple rig for real? I'll tell you what, folks, I hope this fish stays on. I'm gonna get my Freyville net. Let me see if I can get this net right here. Oh my goodness gracious, folks. Now, I wanna show you something. Strike King grubs on a triple rig. What do you think of that? My gosh. <laughs> oh my goodness, look how big that fish is. My gosh, folks. I'll tell you what, that is the second cast that I've made with that triple rig. I put some Strike King grubs on, some of that 3X grubs that they have, and look how big that fish is right there. What an absolute tank, folks. I'll tell you what, that triple rig is absolutely an unbelievable bait. Whew, I tell you what, I, <laughs> I'm a little bit surprised. I've been vertical jigging today for, <laughs> for crappie. <laughs> You'll have to excuse me, because <laughs> I've been, I haven't been bass fishing, so <laughs> this is such a great surprise. But I tell you what, that is an absolute beautiful, beautiful largemouth, isn't that? Look how big the belly is. And I'll tell you what, this triple rig is just incredible. Well, 
She is happy to return where she came from, and I'm gonna tell you what, I am happy to finally catch one on the Tennessee rig or that triple rig. Folks, it's a great bait. I would highly suggest that you get out there, get you some Strike King swim baits, or get you some grubs, some mustache jig heads, get you some Seaguar line, and go and have a ball catching some fish on that Tennessee rig. I'll tell you what, it's a great bait. It's a whole lot different than what you're used to throwing, and the only way that you can get used to throwing it is by throwing it. I'm gonna stay out for a little while longer to try to catch a few more fish on this triple rig, and I thank you for watching this little featurette of Dan versus Fish. And now back to Fish and Affliction. Awesome, awesome. Looks like the cameraman is gonna to have to turn it on. The only thing I'm turning it on right now is this camera. <laughs> good job, Dan. Hey, good job. There's another good solid fish. Wow, huh? Good job, I told you. Everybody got the monkey off their back in the boat now. I told you. I told you about my Woo. buddy. Right there. How about that? Hey. A shadowlicious? January on Gunnersville. Woo! Who would think fish, you could huh? catch go, fish man. like this, Thanks. buddy? Thanks, Pat. Way to go. Big dog, my first fish of the year. I know it's not yours, but that's my first one, Brother Pat. That's cool, man. I'm glad I was in the boat with you when you caught him, Me big too, dog. man. That's a happy New Year's fish. Boxer? Yeah. yeah, if you're gonna put him in the box, we'll put him in the box. Well, I'm afraid Pat's fish might eat it. Here, we'll put him in the, put him in the other box where your Pat's fish won't eat it. <laughs> there you go, the other side should be filling. Okay. Good job, Brother Dan. Yeah. And that should have put us somewhere around woo, 17 pounds for the best five right now. Yeah, a little over 17, probably. Awesome. Five. Good job. Thanks, bro. Let me let me help you with your, your production skills. <laughs> This is easy to do, isn't it? <laughs> Where are you seeing it? I gotta put on my glasses to see that. I, I, I really can't see it. See the top right in the middle. And your, your polarized glasses will make a glare. See it? Well folks, after helping the big dog out with some production and filming tips, it was time for the hero shot of the day to show all those big Gunnersville largemouths caught on the Alabama rig. Oh my. All right, All duck, right duck, guys. duck your heads, guys. Duck your heads. It's not, you're not in shot. All right. There you go. All right, guys. Here's the fish we caught today. Or here's six of our good ones we caught today on Gunnersville. One heck of a day, wasn't it, buddy? Oh, what a day. <laughs> what I mean, a one day. heck of a day. Woo. Look at these big, large mouth. Look at the guts on these things. <laughs> Spin them around a little bit where they can see the Oh, my. I mean, these are fat, healthy Gunnersville fish. Now, normally we are releasing these back into the water. But today, these are going in a big farm pond that Pat's working on, so. But anyway, Woo. big old large mouth. Pat, hold that one up before you put it back. All right. I'm gonna get you guys. Box open. Well, folks, the A-team can sure catch those fish on the Alabama rig. And a big thanks to Affliction Pro staffer, Pat the Patriot Anderson, because I'll tell you what, that gentleman absolutely knows how to fish Lake Gunnersville along with any lake that he's on as he is such a successful tournament fisherman and such a knowledgeable angler. And when you combine his skills along with the skills of the big dog, well that's when you get Fish and Afflictions A-Team. Along with other anglers like Sam Lashley, Steve Mole, Stump Spencer, Mickey Beck, Doug Markham, Rodney Brown, JB Bassmaster, and others, we here at Fish and Affliction TV are proud and fortunate to have these knowledgeable anglers as part of our A-Team Pro Staff. And we're proud to have you as part of our Fish and Affliction family. And on next week's episode, it is time for the best of season 15. So tune in next week and you'll see the best of season 15. This week's Team Fish and Affliction featured Facebook friend is Justin Chastain. And thanks for being our Facebook friend. For your chance to join in the fun and become an official Team Fish and Affliction featured Facebook friend, simply like us on Facebook. And be sure to write a comment on our wall.
As always, a big thank you to all of our national and local sponsors for providing us with the most advanced technology and highest quality products and services. Be sure to visit each of our partners online through the sponsor links page on our official website at fishandaffliction.com. And this is your old pal, Matthew Gillen, the voice of Fish and Affliction TV, hoping that you'll tune in next week because there's no doubt that Dan and the Big Dog got it bad. They've got Vision Affliction for those who got it bad. Well, that's the genuine question, isn't it? Which one's the best? Well, that's the question, isn't it? As far as I'm concerned, it's those made by Paul Pollock at DeerLures.com because there's no doubt when Mr. Pollock puts... Which one's the...